Here are five items that I'm going to talk about that will make your winter fishing a little bit more enjoyable. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. The first item is a pair of gloves. Obviously, most people wear gloves, but these ones in particular I would highly recommend. I'll put a link in the description. Teton Tenkara, Dr. Davis did a uh, review on his blog with these. These are called Rockfish. You may have seen them in his videos or maybe seen them in uh, my videos as well. But I really like these gloves. They have a very soft uh, plush lining on the inside. They're very easy to slip on and off. Um, a lot of dexterity. And they're also super grippy. Um, waterproof, obviously. There's a, a type of rubber. Uh, I've used neoprene gloves in the past and never found anything that I liked uh, as far as a compromise between fit and mobility uh, but with them being extra grippy it also helps actually to take your rod uh, apart because you can grip the the rod really well with the with these gloves so highly recommend these gloves they're actually very very reasonably priced as well the second tip i would make is to go long and what i mean is long rods if you don't have a long k rule rod and you've been thinking about it uh, they're very beneficial in the wintertime. The last couple videos I've made, I've used these two rods. This one's a Sawana Bori, a 72, so almost 24 feet. And this last video I made was this uh, SunTech Fine Power 6 NP66, so about 21 and a half feet. In both cases, I was able to stand on the shelf ice and not even have to get in the water in probably you know 10 to 15 foot uh, shelf of ice and be able to reach out into the channel where I need to, needed to be, obviously depending on the size of the water you're in and, and where you're at, but being, uh, uh, ha having a long rod can really be helpful. The third item I would recommend is this little bugger, and this is the catch em release tool. Uh, Dr. Davis uses them a lot in his videos. Uh, I actually have had mine for the better part of a year, and I haven't, hadn't really used it a lot until you know, the last uh, uh, five, you know, probably four or five months. Uh, but they're really nifty. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a little cut in this, in this uh, tube-like end. And all you do is I hold the line with my left hand, I hook that on the line and slide it down. And they, they come in three sizes to fit over a bead head um, or over just the fly in general. This is the standard version and it works for beads up to about 3.6. If you go bigger than that, you might want to, you know, or, or larger foam flies and things like that, you might want to go uh, longer. Um, but the thing that's great about it, is, aside from that it works really well, is you don't have to get your hands wet. Um, so specifically in the wintertime, it's extremely helpful. I, now I keep mine on a, on a leash shirt. Uh, I know Tom doesn't. And with him using those gloves, He's able to, you know, handle it uh, without fear of dropping it. Although I'm, I'm chicken, and they're not really particularly cheap. I think when I got mine, it was just under 20 bucks. So um, I know I was hesitant initially, but uh, I'm a real fan of them, and it will help keep your hands dry and also uh, keep the fish in the water. The next item I had mentioned in a video as far as wiping down your rod before you collapse it, prevent getting dirt and grime and everything in your rod. Um, when you collapse it causing scratches and stuck, uh, you know, pieces, joints and things like that. So um, having a rag though in the wintertime is especially helpful. Uh, what I like to do is when I'm wearing waders, I can just keep it down in my waiter, top of my waders. And this, this idea wasn't mine. I saw it on a video from uh, Kelly Gallup of the slide in over on uh, by Ennis on the uh, Madison. A uh, real famous uh, tire and, and fisherman, but I saw this in one of his videos. Um, so after he, he doesn't typically wear gloves. Um, so after he handles the fish or gets wet, and of course he's, you know, if you, you're using line, you're getting your hands wet. But just drying your hands off, um, will even when it's cold, will really help uh, be able to handle the colder weather. The last tip I'll mention, and I saw this uh, recently made me think of it on a uh, Tenkara a Facebook group where they had a had a picture of a frozen line and this little stuff here Stanley's ice off paste it's called made by Loon is really uh, kind of a neat deal 
Um, it just looks like, uh, you know, like if you're greasing your line for, a, you know, floatant or something like that. But it really prevents uh, your ice from, uh, your line from freezing up and getting ice on it. I, I used to use it uh, as well with a rod and reel to keep the, the guides um, from icing up. And obviously you're laying, laying line in the water in those cases. Um, and it's much more uh, necessary. But even with our Tenkara lines... Uh, it's really helpful if you happen to get it, you know, in the water, if you laid it down or if you have a fish pulls the line underwater and then it comes back up and, uh, you know, can, can ice up. So you just apply it with your fingers and it does a pretty good job of keeping your line ice free. Those are my five tips to make your winter trips a little bit more enjoyable.